Good morning, brothers and sisters. Welcome to Santa Maria Goretti Parish. Let us all kneel and pray the Holy Rosary. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Amen. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Glorious Mysteries The first glorious mystery is the resurrection of Jesus Christ. We offer this mystery for all who are sick and suffering, especially those afflicted by COVID-19. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. 
Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of your mercy. The second glorious mystery is the ascension of Jesus to heaven. We offer this mystery for those serving in the front lines, medical workers, hospital staffs, security forces, pharma staff, supermarket and bank employees, the media, and also the leaders and servants in our church and our government. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Glory, Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. 
O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of your mercy. The third glorious mystery is the descent of the Holy Spirit. We offer this mystery for countries that are greatly affected by the COVID-19 crisis, especially our country, the Philippines. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of your mercy. The fourth glorious mystery is the assumption of the Blessed Virgin Mary into heaven. We offer this mystery for the protection of our families and loved ones from sickness, danger, and harm. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. 
Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Glory, Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of your mercy. The fifth glorious mystery is the coronation of the Blessed Virgin Mary. We offer this mystery for the eternal repose of the souls of our dearly departed, especially those who had passed away because of this virus. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. 
Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, a world without end. Amen. O my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven, especially those in most need of your mercy. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy, hail our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To you do we cry, poor banished children of Eve. To you do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn then, most gracious advocate, your eyes of mercy towards us. Then after this our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of your womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary, Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. O God, whose only begotten Son, by His life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal salvation, grant we beseech you that meditating upon these mysteries of the Most Holy Rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise through Christ our Lord. Amen. For the intention of the Holy Father, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Mary, Mother of God, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Padre Pio, pray for us. Santa Maria Goretti, pray for us. Horatio Imperata, merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love, and by your healing hand. Dispel the fear of sickness and death. Restore our hope and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed, made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. Let us all stand and pray the Angelus. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, and she conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit, 
Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Be it done unto me according to thy word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the Word was made flesh and dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Pour forth we beseech thee, O Lord, thy grace into our hearts, that we to whom the incarnation of Christ your Son was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, a world without end. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Please be seated. Good afternoon, dear brothers and sisters. Welcome to our celebration of the Holy Eucharist. We offer this Holy Mass for all who are celebrating their birthdays and wedding anniversaries. For those who are sick, especially with COVID-19. For all those who are serving in the front lines, medical workers, hospitals and pharma staff, security forces, supermarket and bank employees, OFWs and seafarers, teachers and school administrators, airline personnel, the media, and also the leaders and servants in our church and our government. Thanksgiving of our donors and sponsors and all other intentions offered in this Eucharistic celebration and for the eternal repose of the souls of our daily departed. Today is the 14th Sunday in Ordinary Time, our Mass Presiders, Reverend Father Dave Concepcion. <laughs> begin our celebration in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God our Father, and the unity of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. To prepare ourselves to participate in the sacred mysteries, let us first call to mind our sins and humbly ask the Lord for his pardon and mercy. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary Ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us of our sins, and bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy.
us pray. O God, who in the abasement of your Son have raised up a fallen world, fill your faithful with holy joy. For on those you have rescued from slavery to sin, you bestow eternal gladness. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. God does not give up on his rebellious people. He sends Ezekiel to call them to a change of heart. A reading from the book of the prophet Ezekiel. As the Lord spoke to me, the Spirit entered into me and set me on my feet. And I heard the one who was speaking say to me, Son of man, I'm sending you to the Israelites, rebels who have rebelled against me. They and their ancestors have revolted against me to this very day. Hard of face and obstinate of heart are they to whom I am sending you. But you shall say to them, Thus says the Lord God, and whether they heed or resist, for they are rebellious house, and they shall know that a prophet has been among them. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our eyes are fixed on the Lord, pleading for his mercy. Our eyes are fixed on the Lord, pleading for his mercy. To you I lift up my eyes, who are enthroned in heaven, as they, the eyes of servants, are on the hands of their masters. Our eyes are fixed on the Lord, pleading for his mercy. As the eyes of a maid are on the hands of her mistress, so are our eyes on the Lord, our God, till he have pity on us. Our eyes are fixed on the Lord, pleading for his mercy. Have pity on us, O Lord, have pity on us. For we are more than sated with contempt. Our souls are more like sated with the mockery of the arrogant and with contempt of the proud. Our eyes are fixed on the Lord, pleading for his mercy. Paul is given extraordinary revelation, but he is content with weakness because in it, the power of Christ is made more manifest. A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, that I, Paul, might not become too elated because of the abundance of the revelations, a thorn in the flesh was given to me, an angel of Satan, to beat me, to keep me from being too elated. Three times I begged the Lord about this, that it might leave me. But he said to me, My grace is sufficient for you, for the power is made perfect in weakness. I will rather boast most gladly of my weaknesses, in order that the power of Christ may dwell in me. Therefore, I am content with weaknesses, insults, hardships, persecutions, and constraints for the sake of Christ. For when I am weak, then I am strong. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me, for he sent me to bring glad tidings to the poor.
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus departed from there and came to his native place, accompanied by his disciples. When the Sabbath came, he began to teach in the synagogue, and many who heard him were astonished. They said, where did this man get all this? What kind of wisdom had been given him? What mighty deeds are wrought in his hands? Is he not the carpenter? the son of Mary, and the brother of James, and Jose, and Judas, and Simon? And are not his sisters here with us? And they took offense at him. Jesus said to them, A prophet is not without honor except in his native place, and among his own kin, and in his own house. So he was not able to perform any mighty deeds there apart from curing a few sick people by laying his hands on them. He was amazed at their lack of faith. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. We were given a chance to leave for 10 weeks, expose, I mean, doing our BEC program in Malay Balay. And perhaps the most difficult is to join your parish priests doing their masses in the Parplang area. Magmumotor kayo. Hanggang doon sa lugar na pwedeng magmotor, tapos maglalakad na. Ano po? Pagdating na doon sa chapel, magbebel. Ano? Saka lang darating yung tao. Ha? Saka lang. Ano po? Yun yung pag kayo ay nagantay na sa sakyan, pag tinanong nyo yung mga driver, anong oras po ito aalis? Ang sagot ng driver ay alas puno. Alas puno. Anong, anong alas puno? Pag napuno na, sa tayo aalis. Ha? Kaya hindi pwede yung ura-urada. Ano po? Anyway, so nandun, sabi ng Paris Priest, sabi niya, Dave, tingnan mo, seminarista pa lang ako. Alam mo na kung anong ulam natin bukas. Ha? So pagdating na operatory, wala namang pera. Kung ano lang yung ino-oper ng magsasaka. Ano po? Makikita mong ganyan. Ha? Kung anong ino-oper. At sasabihin ng pari pagkatapos ng misa, salamat po sa tortang talong. Titingnan ko yung oper, o nga naman, may talong at saka may itlog, di torta, bukas, ano pa. Pagka minsan, pag medyo masagana, salamat po sa tinola. Titingnan ko, o nga, no, may manok, may papaya, may dahon ng sili, kompleto, di ba? Alam mo na ako ng ulam. Hindi ka makakaasang mayroong maguhulog ng pera. Pero ako, Palagi kong dasal, sana, sana, walang mag-alay ng langka. Walang mag-alay ng langka. Bakit? Yun ang pinakamahirap bit-bitin. Ano po? So, talagang tuwan-tuwa ka pag ano, inaalay lang ay uh, kung ano-anong gulay. Pero pag may nag ko, langka, Lord, langka, Lord, Lord, sana. Ano, ano? Hindi ka na magko-concentrate sa misa. Kasi isipin mo na, paano kaya ito dadalhin pa uwi, ano? Ha? Ang hira pag gano'n, nakaba- bumabaon yung mga tinik-tinik, di ba? Pag dito, ano? ano? Ha, di, di, <laughs> minsan, di ganyan, di mo alam. Ano? Tapos sabi ko kay Father, Father, ang sakit. Sabi niya, huwag mo ibababa. Nakatingin pa sila, huwag mo ibababa. Tapos, sige, ibaba mo na. Hindi ko binaba, pinagulong kong ganyan. Aba, ang sakit eh. Lumaki ang problema. Bakit? Nabasag yung langka. <laughs> Sabi niya, yan, yan. Yan ang kalukuhan mo. Ano ano anyway. Yan ang buhay sa probinsya. Ano po? Akala lang natin palaging masagana ang buhay ng pare. Hindi. Anyway. 
a young priest who prepared for his first mass in the barrio and he prepared for his homily. At nung siya nagmisa na, pagdating niya doon, isa lang yung dumating. Isa lang yung dumating. Sabi nung, sabi nung magsasaka, misa na tayo, Father. Wala na hong iba, ako lang. Sabi nung pare, naghanda pa naman ako ng homily. Sabi nung magsasaka, alam mo, Father, meron akong 100 na kambing. Araw-araw ko yan pinapakain. Pero kahit isang kambing lang dumating, pinapakain ko pa rin. Na-encourage yung pare. So, nagmisa, nag-homily, ginanahan si father. Ang haba ng homily. Tapos, pagkatapos ng misa, sabi niya, kumusta? Sabi ng magsasaka, alam mo, father, meron akong 100 na kambing. Pag isa lang kambing na dumating, yung isang daang hinanda ko para sa isang daang kambing, hindi ko man ipapakain lahat sa isang kambing. Ano? Inubos niyo sa akin ng oras eh. Ano po? Anong relasyon nito sa mga pagbasa? If a prophet will always depend only on the reception of people, the acceptance, the rejection, then all of us will be doomed. Imagine that. Listen to the first reading. Kung ang propeta na pinag, pinapadala ng Diyos ay depende lamang sa kalooban ng handog, ng makikinig, ng magsisimba, at sasabihin lang niya ng may saya o may lungkot o hindi niya sasabihin, dapat niya sabihin, wala tayong kinabukasan lahat. That is the role of the prophet. To speak the words that God told him to say. He is just a voice. Mahirap yung namimili tayo ng pari. At mahirap din yung pari ay namimili lang ng mga nagsisimba. Because the word has to be spoken regardless of. Isa lang yan, isang daan man yan. Yan ang sinadya ng Diyos. What is the second reading all about? The prophet is always being humbled so that he will always be reminded of who he is being an instrument of God. Tayo mga Pilipino, sakit natin yan. Ang alin? Naimbitahan ka lang. Sabi nga, isang langaw ka lang sa likod ng baka, ng baka feeling mo baka ka na rin. Nakalimutan mong langaw ka lang. Huwag niyong kakalimutan yon. Nakikiraan lang tayo kung anuman ang yaman meron ka. Nakikiraan ka lang, hindi mo yan madadala. Kung ikaw man ay mahirap at may karamdaman, nakikiraan ka lang, hindi mo yan dadalhin kung saan ka pupunta. Nakikiraan ka lang, wala kang dapat ipagmalaki kahit kanino. Mahirap yung driver ka ng isang mayamang pamilya ang nagmamaniho ka sa isang Mercedes na sasakyan, feeling mo iyon ay sasakyan? Huwag kang makakalimot. Huwag tayong nakakalimot. Sapagkat lahat tayo nakikiraan lang. Madalas ko yung sinasabi, gaano man kalaki ang iyong bahay, pag ikaw ay namamatay, ilalagay ka lang naman sa kabaong na kasyang-kasya ka. Kung hindi ka cremated, kung cremated ka, mas maliit. Kahit gaano karami ang iyong sasakyan, hindi naman ang sasakyan mo magdadala sa sementeryo, hindi po ba? Kukuha ka pa rin ang sasakyan, irerent mo pa rin yan sa Purinaria. Mercedes man yan, Cadillac man yan, F-150 man yan, Starix man yan, dalawa lang ang kulay niyan, puti o itim. Ang tawag natin dyan ay karo. Isasakay ka lang sa karo. Hindi ka pwedeng mamili ng kulay. May namili ba sa inyo? Ng bulaklakin? ba? Diba? At kahit gano'n kayo kagaling kumanta, ang tugtog palagi ay punebre. ba? Diba? Yung bang pampaiyak, no? Palagi nyo na lang ang tugtog. 
Wala na oh, hindi kita. Yun lang palagi ang tugtog, no? Hindi naman talaga pampatay yun. Pero yun ang nakakaiyak eh. Hindi po ba, ano? Huwag tayong nakakalimot. Kahit gaano kalaki ang iyong lupain, ibabaong ka lang sa lupa na iyong binili sa sukat na kasyang-kasya ka lang. Whether you are a prophet or not, do not forget. Sometimes we get sick to be humble. Sometimes our family gets sick to be humble. Sometimes we experience problem to be humble. Kasi pagkamisa nakakalimot tayo. Kung ano man ang pedestal lang yung tinutungtungan, huwag mong kakalimutan, nakikitungtong ka lang. Huwag kang magpapadayo ng sariling, sabi nga, ano, istatua, lalo-lalo na ilalagay mo yan sa parke, iihian lang yan ng aso. Do not forget. But what is our greatest struggle? The gospel is our greatest struggle. We are called to be prophet to one another, to our own family, and the sad story, children don't listen to their parents anymore. Husbands and wives lie to one another. Parents don't even dare to talk to their children in a soft voice. Hindi na tayo nagiging propeta sa bawat isa. And I'm warning all children, children, I'm warning you, those who disrespect their parents, who says their parents, ha, ang kulit ng magulang ko, palagi na lang akong mali. Yung mga magulang kong yan, mali yan, mali. Wait, wait for the day when you get married. Wait for the day when you will have children. And what you have said to your parents is the same words your children will be telling you. Mag-ingat kayo mga anak. Pasalamat kayo. May mga magulang na paulit-ulit na nagpapaalala, nagbubunga nga, sorry for the words, yun na sinasabi natin, nagbubunga nga na naman si mama. Magbubunga nga ba yan kung nakikinig ang anak? Hindi. Kailangan ba itong maas ang boses kung nakikinig? Hindi. Kailangan ba paalalahanan kung wala kang ginagawang mali? Hindi. Matakot ka na pag ikaw ay may ginagawang mali, hindi ka na pinapaalalahanan. Hindi ibig sabihin wala ka ng mali. Baka wala ng pagmamahal. Hello? Pag hindi ka na itinatama dahil meron kang ginagawang mali, huwag mong isiping tinanggap na ang iyong pagkakamali. Baka hindi ka na mahal. Huwag mong kakalimutan yan. When you are no longer chastised and corrected and humble, maybe you are not loved anymore. Masama, masakit, magsabi kayo ng merong propeta sa sariling tahanan. But we are put in a family where God can address us as a people in our own homes. Do not forget the words of St. John Paul II. The road of the future is the road of the family. Ang iyong bukas ay palaging nakasalalay sa uri ng pamilya meron ka. Ang pamilyang walang pagmamahal, ang bukas mo ay isang buhay na puro paghahanap ng pagmamahal o hindi makaintindi kung ano ang tunay na ibig sabihin ng pagmamahal. Mga minamahal na mga kapatid, words has to be said out of love and that is the role of the prophet to make you hear the words you ought to hear rather than wanted to hear. Mga anak, huwag nang pasaway. Mahirap ang buhay. Huwag nyo nang dagdagan ng problema ng inyong mga magulang. Wala namang perfectong magulang. Bakit? 
kasi wala namang perpektong anak. Kung ikaw ay mabuting anak, at masasabi mo talaga, ako mabuting anak ako, sa harapan ng Diyos, then baka may karapatan kang sabihin mo sa iyong magulang ang mga bagay na walang paggalang. But the moment you lost respect, you have lost your character. Huwag mo kakalimutan yan. The moment a child lost his respect towards his parents, you have lost your character. We rather be humble than stood with pride in the wrong side of the law. Mabuti pang tayo itama kaysa piling natin tamang-tama tayo pero pala sa maling pamamaraan. Inuulit ko mga magulang, huwag kayong magsasawang maging propeta sa sariling pamilya. Hindi bali ng umiyak ang inyong mga anak ngayon habang sila inyong itinatama kaysa pagdating ng araw, kayo ang iiyak ng dahil sa kanila. Amen. Let us now profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, through God from through God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through Him all things were made, for as men and for our salvation, He came down from heaven. And by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, He was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and His kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father in the Son, who with the Father in the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Amen. My dear brothers and sisters, let us now pray to our Heavenly Father that we may be open to His desire to commune always with us every day in our lives. And a repetition at our response be, Lord of life, be our strength. Lord of life, be our strength. May the church become a channel of grace and strength in times of weakness and tribulation, we pray, Lord, Lord of, of life, life, be our strength. May all public servants in the government promote human dignity in the policies they implement and the services they render, we pray, Lord, Lord of, of life, life, be our strength. May all who experience all sort of oppression and discrimination be consoled by your loving kindness through the people around them, that they may find the justice they seek. We pray, Lord, Lord of life, life, be our strength. strength. May all who have gone before us, especially our loved ones who have recently died, be welcome into your promised paradise. We pray, Lord, Lord of, of life, life, be our strength. strength. Let us pray for the urgent concerns of our community and our personal intentions. We pray, Lord of life, be our strength. God, our loving Father, in times of weakness, we find strength in you, 
hear our humble petitions and help us become one another's strength as we journey back to you, our beginning and our end, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Brothers and sisters, that the sacrifice of yours and mine be made acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. May this oblation dedicated to your name purify us, O Lord, and day by day bring our conduct closer to the life of heaven, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And we your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you laid the foundations of the world and have arranged the changing of times and seasons, you form man in your own image and set humanity over the whole world in all its wonder. To rule in your name over all you have made and forever praise you in your mighty works through Christ our Lord. And so with all the angels we praise you as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Found of all holiness, make holy therefore these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, gave you thanks, broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you.
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more gave you thanks, gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith. As we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life in the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Jose, our Bishop, all the bishops, and all the clergy. Father, please hear the prayers of your children gathered before your holy presence. Let's spend a few moments of silence, and I invite you, brothers and sisters, that you personally ask the Lord for a special grace you want to receive in this Eucharistic celebration. Ask the Lord. Remember also all our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy in us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with Santa Maria Goretti, and all the saints of you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours for. Gathering all our prayers into one, let us now pray to the Father in the very words our Lord Jesus Christ taught us. Sweet. 
forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into Jesus Christ, who said to the apostles, Peace, I leave you my peace, I give you. Kindly look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant us peace within our hearts, peace in our mind, peace in our own homes, in our own families, peace in our workplace, peace in our community, peace in our country and in the world. And grant unity in accordance with your will who lives and reign forever and ever. Amen. My dear brothers and sisters, the peace of our Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now bless one another by giving each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. This is Jesus, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are you who are invited here to receive him in holy communion. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ bring us to everlasting life. Amen. An act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, 
come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself fully to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray the prayer of Padre Pio of Petrocina. Stay with me, Lord, for it is you alone, for it is necessary to have you present so that I do not forget you. You know how I easily abandon you. Stay with me, Lord, because I am weak and I need your strength that I may not fall so often. Stay with me, Lord, for you are my life, and without you, I am without fervor. Stay with me, Lord, for you are my life, and without you, I am in darkness. Stay with me, Lord, to show me your will. Stay with me, Lord, so that I hear your voice and follow you. Stay with me, Lord, for I desire to love you very much and always be in your company. Stay with me, Lord, if you wish me to be faithful to you. Stay with me, Lord, for as poor as my soul is, I want it to be a place of consolation for you, a nest of love. Stay with me, Jesus, for it is getting late and the day is coming to a close, and life passes, death, judgment, eternity approaches. It is necessary to renew my strength so that I will not stop along the way, and for that I need you. It is getting late and death approaches. I fear the darkness, the temptations, the dryness, the cross, the sorrows. Oh, how I need you, my Jesus, in this night of exile. Stay with me tonight, Jesus, in life with all its dangers, I need you. Let me recognize you as your disciples did at the breaking of the bread, so that the Eucharistic communion be the light which disperses the darkness, the force which sustain me, the unique joy of my heart. Stay with me, Lord, because at the hour of my death, I want to remain united to you, if not by communion, at least by grace and love. Stay with me, Jesus. I do not ask for divine consolation because I do not merit it. But the gift of your presence, oh yes, I ask this of you. Stay with me, Lord, for it is you alone I look for, your love, your grace, your will, your heart, your spirit, because I love you. And ask no other reward but to love you more and more. With a firm love, I will love you with all my heart while on earth and continue to love you perfectly during all eternity. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that having been replenished by such great gifts, we may gain the prize of salvation and never cease to praise you through Christ our Lord. Amen. Prayer for our family. Dearest Father in heaven, bless our family and bless us with new beginnings. Smile upon our parents and surround our children with a soft mantle of your love. Teach every child of ours to follow in your footsteps and to live life in the ways of faith, hope, and charity. We ask this through Christ, our Lord. Amen. Kindly mention your intentions. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Mary, Mother of God, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Santa Maria Goretti, pray for us. Please rise. 
Every first Sunday of the month, we pray in a special way and bless those who are celebrating their birthday for this month of July. Meron po ba mga birthday celebrator ng July? Dito po, dito po sa harap. May I ask you to come forward so we can pray over you? Yung mga July. July. mga July. Sino pa po ang mga July? Ano pa? Ito natin natin mga kamay sa kanila. Hingi natin ang pagpapala ng Diyos. Sana manalo sila sa loto. Ano? God will give you more than that. Let us pray. Ama namin pagbanggahal, kilala mo ang bawat isa, ang iyong mga anak, taglay ang mga pasasalamat sa biyaya ng buhay na pinagkalob mo sa kanila kung saan sa buwang ito ay kanya-kanya nilang ipinagdiriwang ang kanila mga kaarawan. Kilala mo sila, Panginoon. Alam mo ang kanila mga pagkatao. Alam mo ang kanila mga pamilya. Alam mo ang kanila mga pinagdaanan, pinagdadaanan sa buhay. Alam mo ang kanilang mga pagtawa at pagluha, ang kanilang mga kahinaan at kalakasan, ang kanilang mga kabiguan at tagumpay. Alam mo rin, Panginoon, ang kanilang mga pangarap, hindi lang para sa kanilang mga sarili, kundi para sa kanilang mga mahal sa buhay. Narito sila, Panginoon, taglay ang kanilang pasasalamat at pagdulog sa iyo. Hinihingi namin, Panginoon, na wapoy lukuban mo sila ng iyong banal na espiritu. Nawapoy palig, palagi mo silang ingatan, ilayo mo sila sa lahat ng uri ng kapahamakan. Patuloy mo silang pagkaloba ng kalakasan, kalusugan, at kung meron man sa kailang may karamdaman, nawapoy pagkaloban mo sila ng kagalingan. Gabayan mo sila sa kanilang mga iniisip at ginagawa. Kung meron man silang problema o suliranin sa buhay, lalong-lalo na sa panahon na ito ng pandemic, Tuwangan mo sila, Panginoon. Alisin mo po ang kalilang mga pagkatakot at pangamba. Dagdagan mo po ang kalilang mga pananalig at pananampalataya sa iyo. Panginoon, kung ano man ang higit nila ikabubuti, higit nilang ikababanal, higit nilang ikasasaya, ikauunlad, ikasasagana, kayo na po ang magkaloob. May kanya-kanya po silang mga panalangin, kayo na po ang magregalo sa kanila. Dinudulog po namin sa iyo ang kanila din mga pamilya, nawa ang kanya-kanya nila mga pamilya, ay pagharian mo ng pagmamahalan, pagkakaisa, pagkakasundo-sundo, kapayapaan, kasayahan, puspos ng pag-ibig at kasaganahan. Pagpalain mo po itong iyong mga anak, gayon din ang mga nagdiriwan ng kaarawan na kasama namin sa online mass na ito. Sa tulong at panalain mga banal, lalong-lalo po ng mahal na birhen, gayon din ni San Jose at aming patron Santa Maria Goretti, sa ngala ng Ama at ng Anak at ng Espiritu Santo. Amen. Happy Birthday. May you have many more happy birthdays to come. Ang akin pong taos pusong pasasalamat sa mga naghandog para sa ating loot bag, para sa mahihirap na pamilya ng ating parokya. Ano po? Tayo po ay nag, ano tawag doon? Nag-survey. Ano po? At kinilala natin ang mga ito. Ano po? Bukas mamimigay sa tatlong barangay. Ano po? Tangke, Dusipek, at saka... Dusipek. Ano yung isa? Nieto. Ha? Nieto. 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 Epikta. Ba't yun? Senior moment. Ano po? Naturo ka na ba kayo? Magpaturo kayo, ha? Naturo ka na ako. Nakakalimot ako, eh. Hindi. Huwag kayo matakot. Ano po? Magpaturo kayo, ha? Huwag kayo maniwala doon sa mga sabi-sabi. 
Ano po? Maraming salamat po, ano po? At ang ating pong patuloy na pagbibigay sa ating mga street dwellers, ano po? Isang kanin, isang ulam. Maraming salamat. Diyos nang magsukli sa inyo. If you have noticed this, I hope you have noticed this, for the past, what? One year and six months? One year. Yeah, one year. One year and six months. Wala tayong collection sa misa, napansin niya ba yun? Nanonood kayo na sini, wala kayong hulog ha? ha? Parang wala yung pasapasang basket, ano po? Pero even that, salaming salamat, ano po? The Lord provided through you. Basta wag kayong magkakasakit, ano po? Basta wag kayong magkakasakit. Wag na wag, ano po? Wag na wag kayong magkaka-COVID. Mahirap magka-COVID, ano po? Alam niyo naman ang aking nanay at aking kapatid ay nagka-COVID, ano po? Mahirap talaga, ha? Matagal lang nakalabas sa hospital, ay nako, mahirap pa rin. Ha? Mag-iingat po kayo, huwag po kayo mapasaway, ano po? Anyway, kagabi po ay dinala yung ating imahin, nagpagawa po tayo ng Our Lady of Manawag, ano po? Hindi pa po tapos, wala pa po yung kapa. Pero dinala na po kagabi para humabol sa piyesta. Nandiyan po sa may likod. Ano po? Sa may likod. Ha? Ang akin lang pakiusap, huwag niyong gugupitin ang damit. Ha? Yung mga mahilig sa remembrance. Pag kayo nakita ni Lord na ginupit kayo, pagugupit ko kayo. Ano po? At huwag kayo magtitirik ng kandila sa ilalim ng mahal na birhen. Ha? So, sa July 30 pa ho matatapos yung kapa. Ano po? Hindi kayo makapunta sa Manawag. Ang Manawag ang pumunta dito. Ano po? Ha? Ang mahal na birhen. Anyway, going back to what I've said. Who is supposed to be the prophet at home? It is the mother and father. Who is the prophet at home? The mother and the father. The father is a prophet by example, not by words. The mother is a prophet by love. Hindi kailangan magsalita ng ina sa anak sapagkat ikaw ay laman ng kanyang laman, dugo ng kanyang dugo. Ano po? Listen to your parents, children, mga magulang, itama, mga anak. Kahit feeling nyo hindi nakikinig, hindi bali nang umiyak sila ngayon, kaysa pagdating ng araw, kayo ang iiyak ng dahil sa kanila. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. We go now in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God.